This question says the molecule below does not have any lone pairs drawn in. So that means we're probably gonna have to draw them in ourselves. How many pairs of electrons should this molecule have? Note all atoms have a zero formal charge. So we have to kind of look at this fluid structure and then add the lone pairs in. Um, because we know that all the atoms have a zero formal charge, that's helpful. Um, that means that um, you know, there aren't any like extra electrons or too few electrons hiding in there. If we had charges, then they would have to be shown on the molecule in order for us to know that they were there because we don't have the electrons drawn in. So in this case, let's go ahead and take a look at this fluid structure. Um, first up, we're gonna start on the left-hand side. Um, the hetero atoms are probably gonna be the most likely place for us to have to add in lone pairs. So oxygens, nitrogen, sulfur, for example, are all hetero atoms. Um, to double check on things like carbons, um, you just wanna make sure that a carbon has four bonds. So if we look at all the carbons in this molecule, um, you know, that'll also help to kind of think, does it have a um, zero formal charge? So first I'll start with the header atoms. Like I said, the oxygen right there should have two. This nitrogen atom should have one lone pair. Um, typically nitrogen will form three bonds, oxygen will form two when they're neutral. All right, next up we have a nitrogen here, which should have a lone pair. Don't forget also these oxygen atoms that are part of carbon to oxygen double bonds. They also have lone pairs. We have a lone pair right there with that nitrogen. The sulfur atom should have two lone pairs. Sulfur is usually analogous to oxygen because it's right underneath of oxygen on the periodic table. And so in this case, a neutral sulfur has two bonds and two lone pairs to give it a full octet. Um, we have a couple more hetero atoms over here, two oxygens. And so they need two lone pairs each in order to um, get to their octet. So I think that's taking care of all the lone pairs. And then you can go through and check all the carbons to make sure that they all have four bonds. So I'm gonna highlight them as I check to make sure that yes, they all have four bonds. That one does, that one's good. These are all good. So all the carbons have four bonds and are neutral. Right, so I think that means that we've added in all the lone pairs that we needed. You don't have to worry about the hydrogens because they only form one bond. So let's go ahead and count up our lone pairs. It says how many pairs of electrons? So we're looking for the pairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So the answer to this question should be E.